okay so these are the models so uh, vh 100 uh, 100 family in 100 family there are different model like 100 v 100 m so basically it's on your requirement some is having wi-fi antenna some are not and there is a capacity also so if you will see that branch soho small medium business so 100 mb uh, link you can use the bandwidth of this one and in vh 1000 you can use 1 gb if you are deploying in campus data center then you can deploy 2000 that's a capacity of 10 10 gig ports and this uh, vh 5000 normally we deploy vh 5000 in data centers uh, very if you are having very big site that is having thousand of users then you can deploy 2000 can handle that one vh 2000 uh, normally we deploy vh 5000 in the dc's data centers right it's very big device and NFA, as we already discussed, that virtual through in the physical any physical white box, you can deploy this image like with the use of VNA function, right? And in VH VH Cloud, we can deploy anywhere in VMware Cloud, Azure, AWS, anywhere you can use these images. So basically, these are the models: hundred, thousand, two thousand, and five thousand. Can can we use this model as a uh, legacy routing uh, purpose, like general routing purpose? Can we use uh, this router? No, 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 no. You cannot use it. If you want that, you you your router is not working. Cisco router is not working, and you have spare one VS thousand at site, and you can deploy. No, no, no. because it's no, a just, yeah, just, no, just, no. Just, because it's a data plane. The control plane okay. is not there. So to manage this device, you will require one V manage. And if this device is not connected with connected with vManage, then you will not able to manage it. Problem is that. Okay. And what about ISR router? Uh, those routers support this uh, VH kind of thing, kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, nowadays, nowadays, no, I cannot say. Last uh, four years back, when this uh, uh, Cisco acquired this Luptela, after some time they uh, uh, they introduce some images. Uh, in ISR uh, 4000 4, series 4331 and 4321, you can uh, reimage those, those routers with the uh, now I think 17.1 is running nowadays 17 or 18. So you can install those images and you can make that those router as a SD WAN router. So these are ISR and now they also introduce uh, 8000 series newly launched. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So they you can use those legacy router as a SD WAN, but you need to change the image. You need to install new images on that one. Then you can run these SD WAN command, and those will be part of your SD WAN fabric. So nowadays, most of the customer is doing this because they don't want to purchase new things, and Cisco is offering them with the license and new images, and they are using their own legacy routers. Right, but there is some uh, some parameters like I think I have also written a white paper two years back. What are the basic requirement? Means, uh, okay, give me one minute. Here it is. Personal logs. Here it is. Give me one minute. I have some white paper that you can see what are the basic requirement. Um, Then, uh, Sachin, what is the different thing in VH routers? Uh, because of that, we can't use, uh, we can't uh, treat these routers as a regular router. Yeah, try to understand. This is having data plane. In your legacy router, you have management, control, and data plane. Three things. Yeah. But this Azure router is having on data plane. How you will yeah. manage it? How you will create mm -hmm. the routing table in 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 this uh, edges? Right. 
Okay. Because control plane is not there. So that's a different you need. You will require one vManage, vSmart v1 to manage these routers, manage these edges. Because the control plane is not available on this image in Azure routers, right? So these are designed like this that you need to you require management. So this I think why this white paper I have written. Uh, Sachin, one more thing that uh, you have mentioned that there are multiple models mm -hmm. according to the bandwidth. So uh, these different models are uh, varying according to the bandwidth of the link terminated yeah, yeah. on them or anything else also. Yeah, the, because the, control the, plane, yeah, because yeah. the control plane is managed by the centrally uh, we smart and we manage. Yeah, I will discuss the capacity here on the next slide. So mm -hmm. the guys just raised the question in between. So I was looking some uh, white paper that uh, what are the requirements you need to fulfill for the ISR, then you can make them as a SD1 router. So we can okay. use these three series ASR 1000, right? And ISR 1000, ISR 4000. So there are some requirement that you need to have like for example, for 4000 series ISR, ensure that there is a minimum of 4 GB RAM, for 8 GB of more is recommended, right? So there is some requirement that you need to fill, right? Then only you can make this legacy router to your, means you can use this legacy router as a SD WAN. So basically, these are the some important tips before you begin. You need to consider that you have some kind of images, right? Your RAM, right? Some th through some command, you should have some license available on the, that images. So this has been I have this I have written uh, by me last two years back, almost two years here. Yeah. And what all other features you also need to consider that this device will support or not, uh, like IPS URL filtering, right? Uh, DNS security. So these are some features that it will support or not so these things you need to consider right uh, i think 17.4 was available on 2021 right now i don't remember because i am not working on isrs nowadays so which actually version is going on you can just go to search in google and search that what what is the latest compatible version with the isr 4000 series so you will find your answers so Otherwise, these are the some things you need to consider before if you are considering to migrate your legacy legacy router to the SD WAN, right? And now if we'll go to your question, so do you have some capacity, right? What capacity? Uh, what kind of site you are having? Like if you talk about VH 100, so 100 MPS till 100 MPS load it can take, right? TPM chip is there, security QS, Kingston lock is there, fanless, there is no fan available on the 100, right? And uh, in 100M, it's a one RU device, very small device. It still look like a, you are like a modem at your house, right? So and 100MW, like a VH1000. Th uh, so there are basically the capacity that what are here you can see in uh, VH1000, uh, dual power supply is there, very low power consumption is there. In VS2000, right, uh, four fixed gig SFP port is available. If you are having heavy traffic from the LAN side, from the four switch, definitely you will require the SFP port. Uh, otherwise, it will be bottleneck on your Ethernet port. So SFP port are available there, right? If SFP port is there, so it is handling at least 10 Gbps traffic, right? So TPM chip is there, dual power supply is there, wind and fan are there. So basically, it's your requirement that what kind of how big your site is having and what kind of load is there, uh, how many users are there. So that we call the capacity management, how it handle those things, right? So, so Sachin, can we say that these VH devices are dumb devices? Yeah, we can say it's dumb devices. These are just a white box and data plane. Normally, whatever it's just like a robot, we will say, mm -hmm. okay, go straight and take left. It will go straight and take left. It's don't, it does not have its own brain. It will not manage anything. Only it is designed for data plane. Whatever we will define that this port will prefer for this kind of traffic. It will match the application signature and it will forward the traffic on that port. That's it. Means whatever instruction we will define on the vManage and vSmart mm -hmm. will push to the edge and edge will behave like this. 
and whatever so the policy we will define we will push to the edge and it will behave like this so whatever the information we will uh, create in we smart it will get pushed into these devices correct correct through omp update right and okay. it will behave like this okay. Okay. So, touching the uh, air, uh, we, we have mentioned some 100 mbps 100 mbps 1 gps and 10 gps right so it's kind of batch length speed or uh, it's kind of van traffic uh, no back 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 okay can we take 15 minutes break and we will resume it okay i need to have some lunch so we can take 15 minutes break and we can resume okay okay okay, okay. thanks like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn sd van thank you so much